Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for that warm introduction, Terry. Yeah, Terry and I go back to uh, 2003 when he was working for the City of Calgary, helping us develop an arts policy, and I was uh, uh, one of the aldermen involved in the guidance of that policy, and then uh, he was the executive director of K and president of CADA, Calgary Arts Development Authority, and uh, I was on that board for a lot of years, so it's great to see you here, and you, you seem like you're at home in this place, actually. <laughs> Way better than the arts, I think. <laughs> but uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here at the inaugural Alberta Craft Brewing Convention, and I already hope you'll have me back for the second year of the convention. I want to recognize acting uh, CEO Alan Mezenov and his AGLC staff who are here. It's great that you're in that position and you're all here to support uh, uh, brewing and uh, the liquor industry in Alberta. <clears throat> the fact Alberta's small brewing industry identified the need to hold a convention speaks to the momentum and growing importance of your industry. Alberta makes great beer. I've had the wonderful opportunity to visit several of Alberta's breweries, small breweries this past year, seeing firsthand the entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to total quality of Alberta's brewers that they bring. And I want to congratulate Red Deer's own Troubled Monk Brewery on its brown ale, uh, placing second in the World Beer Cup last year. And I visited, uh, yeah, go ahead. And I visited and uh, had the opportunity to tour the facility, not sure, I think it was in the summer. Um, and I know that uh, when I brought my summer tour destinations back to uh, the legislature and talked to the Premier about all of that, she said, you're not going out on another one of these tours without me, Joe. So uh, this summer, look for the uh, Alberta Small Distillers tour with uh, Notley and Cece. I often say beer is good, and it is, especially Alberta craft beer, but not necessarily for the reasons that might immediately come to mind. Brewing is a local industry that attracts local investment and uses some of the world's highest quality ingredients grown right here in Alberta. From the field to the tap, grain to glass, beer generates economic activity to the benefit of our province. So it's great to be here today with you to celebrate your successes, to hear your thoughts, and to convey our support. You've got a great agenda for this convention. I'm excited to see how you top this program again next year. These sessions provide so many great opportunities for discussions and sharing of ideas of Alberta's craft brewing industry. Looking around the room, I, see, I can see that there is a robust interest in expanding the craft industry here in the province. And I'm told there are also some representatives from other parts of Alberta li liquor manufacturing, and I met some of them earlier uh, today, as well as some suppliers from out of province. You've made an excellent choice for keynote speaker in Tony McGee from uh, Laguni Lagunitas Brewing Company. And it's no surprise to see that Alberta-grown barley is sought after for export uh, for brewing around the world. As you know, our government is focused on, deal on creating good jobs and building a diversified economy. I recently presented Budget 2017 in the Alberta Legislature a couple weeks ago. I don't want to spend my time talking about that here this afternoon, but I would like to speak briefly about some of its broad, broad themes. At a base level, Budget 2017 is a roadmap to make life better for Albertans. To accomplish that goal, we are focusing on three themes or streams of activity. The first is making practical changes that make life more affordable for Albertans. The second is protecting and improving services and supports that make a difference in the lives of Albertans. And the third is creating good jobs and building a diversified economy, and that's where you come in. Budget 2017 continues our focus on our plan to encourage job creation and economic diversification. In fact, our budget provides $71 million of support to job creators 
with not one but two tax credits to encourage investors to support eligible small and medium-sized businesses in Alberta and encourage businesses to make capital investments in our province. We listened to business leaders and they told us that these tax credits are the best way to encourage timely capital investments and help Alberta entrepreneurs access the capital they need to grow and create jobs. Small businesses are vital to Alberta's economy, contributing about one-third to the provincial economy and employing about half a million people. Our government lowered the small business tax rate by 33% effective January 1st. This will save small businesses, their owners, an estimated $185 million in 2017. We want to work with industry to ensure Alberta continues to be the best place to do business and that includes Alberta's brewers. As our government is committed to diversifying our economy and providing the tools needed for job creators and entrepreneurs to succeed, we know that supporting Alberta's small businesses is an important part of achieving our goal of creating a more resilient economy, one that's not so nearly reliant on a single commodity. It's no longer a secret that Alberta's brewing industry can be an important contributor to our provincial economy and that it's only growing. Our government understands that about your industry and recognizes that you are creating new jobs and opportunities in our province. So supporting Alberta's small brewers is an important step in achieving the province's economic diversification and job creation goals. That's why we've provided nearly $16 million in support in 2016 and 17 through the Alberta Small Brewers Development Program, and we will make another $25 million available in 2017-18. The Alberta Small Brewers Development Program has given small brewers excellent growth potential in an expanding craft brewing market. As you know, many of today's new breweries start off with low volumes, gradually increasing as they establish their brand and refine their processes. With this grant program, starting off with small batch production is feasible. Of course, it helps that Albertans are manufacturing some of the finest products available anywhere, and there will always be consumer demand for excellent products that are marketed competitively. The grant programs provides Alberta small brewers with the flexibility to invest in their businesses, enabling them to increase production capacity, launch new products, develop new markets, and make important capital investments, improvements. On Monday, Premier Rachel Notley and I visited Cold Garden Brewing Company and their owners, Chris, Dan, and Blake. The grant program has allowed them to keep prices low as they get going. They make some great beer, and I'm glad that uh, getting started is at least a bit simpler as a result of this program. Most provinces are taking steps to develop their beer, wine, or spirits industries. So we make no apologies for helping grow the brewing industry right here at home. Looking at other parts of the liquor manufacturing businesses, we're also seeing some growth in craft distilling since the min minimum production requirement was eliminated in 2013. Estate wineries have existed in Alberta since 2005 and we are seeing steady growth in the wine mead industry. This year, our government will build on the success of our craft brewing program and develop a similar program for Alberta's craft distillers, wineries, and meaderies. We're still working out the details on the new program, so you'll have to stay tuned for more details later this year. But certainly our government's aim is to help support the growth of our small distillers, wineries, and meaderies in the same way that we have helped to encourage Alberta's small brewers. And we intend to get a program up and running this year. 
We have the most open liquor marketing system in Canada, and that will not change. With over 21,000 listed liquor products, including over 7,000 beer products, no province even comes close. Alberta's small brewers contribute to that success, and now we hope to build on that success, helping other sectors of our liquor manufacturing business grow too. I want to say thank you again for inviting me, and I look forward to uh, your successes over the upcoming year and hope to be back here in a year's time to tell you about the uh, successes in the spirits, meteries, and wineries area um, like you've enjoyed in this area in the past year. Thank you very much to you as job creators and people enhancing uh, that industry and diversifying our economy. I uh, want to hand the floor back over to you, Terry. Thanks again. Have a great rest of the conference.